Good morning, Davenport High School. I am very happy to be here with you today. This morning, you are going to get to see the first set of elections that we are holding for our Student Government Association. Um, I would love for you guys to take a moment and revel in the idea that this is the first one of these and that these candidates that you are about to hear from are going to be changing history for this school. You guys get to elect the very first government that this school has. And those people are going to have direct control as to how this school is going to be run, the events that you're going to be a part of, and how the history of this school progresses, and all of those traditions that we're going to create. So, thank you for being a part of our very first virtual assembly, and sit back, enjoy, listen, and um, give these guys a little bit of thought because you are going to have a, cho a choice. You're going to have to choose one of these candidates to be your next president for the whole student body and or representative of your grade level. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. I'm not here to sell you something that you want to hear, but to go beyond the basics of what is needed. Hi, my name is Franishka Otero Torres, a current junior running for student body president. I would like to thank the Faculty Senate for making all of their efforts in making this possible. I would like to thank all of the teachers broadcasting this right now in your classrooms. I know that your time is very precious. I am so grateful to be in such an opportunity such as this to be the start of the future. During this time at Davenport High School, I would li like to give you all an enjoyable time full of love and fun whether you have one two or three years left changes that make a well-rounded community through all throughout my school life I've had the privilege of going into many different places of study and one of the places that I like the most one of the things that I like the most is the community of people some schools more than others, but in each school I have had the chance to be a part of the change, whether that be through dance, jiu-jitsu, or leadership groups in elementary to FFA, NJHS, um, volleyball, and so much more activities in middle school. And as to most recent, one of your library student aides and one of the five student ambassadors where I have been able to and am able to help you guys on a whole nother perspective. As president, I want to combine all the good and get rid of the bad, hear from all of you and create a solid foundation to keep building on, work with the elected student representatives to make school enjoyable, not a day-to-day, clock-in and clock-out office job, but have it be a place where you want to come in. I acknowledge the problems that there are. I want to bring us together, unite us as one, cultivate our cultures and introduce us to a variety of different customs. There has been a lot of division since the beginning of school. We can bring it back. I know some voices have been kept quiet when they shouldn't be. And I've seen firsthand this miscommunication leading to these problems. And if elected, I will use all of my platforms to hear voices, to hear your voices and of any concerns and find solutions. I, along with the student representatives, will choose change and help you guys. I know there are so many great people running and I would like to ask you to choose for change, true change. And if not for me, then for my ideas. One that will benefit us today and those yet to come. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ariel Tambrino and I am running for student body president. The purpose of an election is to decide what is best for the school, whether that is to stick to tradition, or invent new ideas for the school. I strongly believe that my personality and leadership experience will help me to get firm ideas and start off DHS right. My job will be to listen and communicate with the fellow students of DHS. I will remain open-minded about ongoing conflicts. Here are a couple things that I'm campaigning for. One, vending machines. I would love to have vending machines as an option for after school students, whether they are participating in sports or if their bus is late. Two, student tutoring. Algebra 1 and, bio and biology EOCs are very important for high school graduation. Peer tutoring is going to help with that, whether it's classwork or 
USC prep. Davenport's high school depends on our capability to work together. If you elect me as your president, I will make sure to do just that. Don't forget to scan my QR code on any of my posters to read more about me. Hey Davenport Broncos, I'm Sean Gway and together we're going to make it a great day. Now how are we going to get there? Well let me tell you. I've heard a lot of your great feedback that we're going to bring together as one common voice. From your valued feedback, three general themes have emerged. With DHS being a brand new school, there is an increased need for unity and cohesion throughout the student body. And many have also brought up the idea of diverse food and snack opportunities, and several have mention the need for enhancement to our school's decor, both inside and out. Now, let me tell you a little story. In gathering feedback, I ran across this person who felt as though their voice has never been heard, and never would be heard. And let me tell you, I've been that person. I know how it feels to think, you know, our opinion doesn't matter, and whatnot. And that's one of the reasons I decided to run for president, is to make sure everyone's voice is heard. And if you want your voice heard, look around the school for these posters. And scan that QR code to bring up a brief survey of what you would like to see around the school. With your feedback in hand, together we can make every day a great day with Sean Goy. Go Broncos! Good morning students and staff members. My name is Karina Barada and I am in 11th grade and running for student government president. I am fairly new to Florida and feel that being in this brand new school is not only perfect timing but a perfect opportunity to bring innovative ideas to our school atmosphere where everyone can feel as they belong. There's nothing to change but there is to create. I am eager to hear everyone's ideas and suggestions to come together in making decisions. If you vote for me as student president, I promise to make the school enjoyable. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mackenzie Cabin, and I'm a junior here at Davenport High School. I believe that every student should have a say in what's going on in their everyday life at school. That is why I am running for 11th grade class representative. As your class representative, I will be communicating your concerns to the student body president to ensure your needs are met. I want to make sure we, as the first graduating class of Davenport High School, are satisfied with our time here. And by electing me, you are guaranteeing a voice within student government. If I was elected for this position, sure I may have the title, but we as juniors would share the job. As you cast your ballot, remember to vote Mackenzie Cabin for junior class representative. I'm Maddie Shivers and I'm running to be your 10th grade student representative. It would be an honor for me to represent the wonderful class of 2024. All of us have been in school going on more than 10 years and each of us has felt at least once that we've been ignored by the administration and our student government. I'm here to make sure that you are not only heard but listened to. Everything we do this year is going to make history. So let me help make DHS the best it can be and vote me for student representative. Hi, my name is Markayla Wiggins, and today I am here to tell you why you should vote for me for a ninth grade class representative. First, I want to say that I am hardworking and dedicated to this job. Second, I already have multiple ideas to better the school. For one, I think we should start doing pep rallies to show more Bronco school spirit. Two, I think we should have a suggestion about getting vending machines around campus. Then three, we should start study groups, such as for subjects as mathematics, reading, science, history, anything that is suggestive. These are the main reasons why I think you should vote for me as your class ninth grade representative. Hello DHS, my name is Willa Deterra and I'm running for ninth grade representative. I'm a hardworking and persistent student who believes in the strength of our school community. It is important to me that every freshman has a voice in the decision making process of our first year here at DHS. After all, everyone should be included in making history. 
All of us have different ideas and valuable points of view on what is important in making our academic and social experience here the best that it can be. These four years of high school are the foundation that will prepare us for whatever the future may hold. A safe, encouraging, and fun learning environment are key to succeeding at this. We can only reach this goal, however, if we work together. This is why it's important that our concerns and needs are heard by administration. My determination, positivity, and dedication to what I believe in will help me effectively represent this year's first freshman class. If I am elected, I will work hard every day so that all ninth graders are included in the opportunities available in shaping the direction of our school. I look forward I look forward to the privilege of serving you all as your class representative. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sophia Wale, and I am a freshman. This year, I will be running for the first ever ninth grade representative. Some things you should know about me as representative that is that I am an AB honor roll student. I am a creative thinker, and I also have problem solving skills. I am also a very caring person. I am organized, and I am persistent. As a student representative for the first year of DHS, the things I would do to make this go better is that I would make a safe environment for everyone, including race, gender, and etc and make everyone happy. Um, I will do all of these by listening to what you guys want to do and talking to school staff members about it. Um, I want to know, I want to let you guys know that I am here for you and thank you for listening.